Welcome back to Blacks in Motion. And like I said before the break, we're going to talk about a little college bowl teams, or should I say college playoff teams, that are in my bracket already after two weeks of college football play this year. Now, you know we've already moved to the playoff system. It was a big hit. We got four teams that are selected at the end of the season. But, hey. It's not the end of the season. It's just the beginning. It's never too early to pick those four teams. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you which four teams are in my playoff bracket already and the one team that's right there on the outside that could sneak up and steal one of those spots. So starting off with the first spot in no particular order is Ohio State, the defending national champions. Yes. Check it out. Ohio State has a good problem down there in Ohio. Those guys have Braxton Miller, who converted to wide receiver from quarterback. They have JT Barrett, who took his spot, who was all world until he broke his foot. And then you got Cordell Jones, the third string quarterback, who came in there and led him to a national championship and won. And all those guys are still actively on the roster. And you saw the highlight move by Braxton Miller, the spin move like a video game. That guy got into the end zone like three times. It, it, it's just ridiculous. Just they have a real good problem with so many playmakers on that team, specifically coming out of the backfield look for those guys to continue their dominance in college football moving on to the next team Alabama that's right Alabama Crimson Tide not going anywhere as long as they're under Nick Saban they're probably going to be in contention but the only difference is is that this year they really don't have any name brand superstars yeah they got a pretty good running back and they got guys on defense but nobody that just pops off the roster that do automatically make you say hey if they had to put everything on that guy's shoulders he'll be able to take them to victory not so much, but the program is still solid. They should be there at the end of the year. Next up, TCU. Cliff's pick. Yeah, I'm really riding with TSU this year. TCU, excuse me. And the reason why I say that is because, yeah, they're from Texas and they're a little bit of an underdog, but I just think that that team is very dynamic, and they're going to go as far as their dynamic quarterback, Trayvon Boykin. This guy can do it all. He's showing some great poise. Look for him to actually jump up on some people's draft boards as the season comes to a close. He should go to the NFL. So look out for the Horned Frogs going further in the future with college football. Going on to the third team, or should I say the last team, Michigan State, the Spartans. Look, this team is like a blue-collar, get dirty, grimy, built the right way type of team, and it always leads to success. They just recently beat Oregon using the defensive side of the ball, and that's one of the Ad advantages for them is that they have a strong defense and strong coaching and those guys really do well when they become older juniors and seniors of leading the team so Michigan State is going to be there I think they're going to surprise some people and look for a head to come at the end of the season in the Big Ten with them and Ohio State could be a great great matchup toward the end of the season. Now, the team that's on the outside looking in right now, another team from Texas, that's Baylor University. Look for the Bears to continue to put up great offensive numbers. Those guys are explosive. You don't know if you've got a football team or a track team, the way they're constantly running up and down the field. And the reason why they might be able to sneak into the top four, they're in the same Big 12 conference, just like TCU. Another game that should be good come the end of the year. So check it out. Maybe you think my teams are all wrong. Maybe you think that my overreactions are justified. Either way, I want to hear from you. Let me hear from you. Contact me, Cliff, at blackvideonews.com. Always put your comments in and like this video. And always stay logged on and love us right here at Blacks in Motion.